afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our last IPP Winter Concert Series, which the spring is coming soon. Um, so we are very thrilled to have Dr. Kong Li today here give us a very special topic um, on woman composer, finding their own voices, which we all love this topic. So now let's welcome Dr. Kong Li. Thanks, Dr. Wong. Uh, hi, I'm Kong Li, and I'm a pianist. I teach at Potty College, and I work as a committee member for Puerto Rico Center for Clever Piano. Um, I'm really, really excited to share my passion and love music by woman composer. And I thank so much Dr. Wong to have me as a part of the, your last IPPA Winter Concert Series so that I can share my passion and love of music by women composers uh, in this Women's History Month, which is we all want to celebrate. So I will introduce three piano etudes by women composers in the 21st century. The first one is Techno Etude by Karen Tanaka, followed by Three Studied in Uneven Meters by Vera Ivanova, and then Preludio y Estudio number no. 3 by Gabriela Ortiz. This lecture recital explains how uh, Tanaka, Ivanova, and Ortiz established their own distinctive compositional voices through their musical training and sometimes their, uh, through their own nationalities. I hope this presentation will deepen our understanding of their works by exploring each etude and the compositional voice of each composer. So the first composer, mm, sorry, does it? Oh, yes. So first composer, Karen Tanaka, uh, she is a professor in competition at California Institute of the Arts. Born in Tokyo, Japan, Tanaka studied with Akira Miyoshi, who had studied at Paris Conservatory. Like her teacher, she also moved to Paris, where she studied with Tristan Murillo. She also studied with Luciano Berrio in Italy. Her musical training is significantly important when we examine her musical style. According to the New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, Tanaka's music is delicate and emotive, beautifully crafted, showing a refined ear for both detail and large organic shapes. Tanaka established her distinctive compositional voice through her musical training with Tristan Murillo, who taught spectral music at IRCAM, which is a French institute for science about music and sound and other electroacoustical arts music. And training with Luciano Berrio, who is known for experimental music and electronic music. This dual influence of French spectralism and European modernism provides the stylistic underpinning for her music. So this Tanaka's piano etude for solo piano, techno etude, was commissioned by the Dutch Japanese woman pianist Tomoko Mukayama. The piece was originally planned to be synchronized with pre a pre-recorded tape of techno music chosen by Mukayama, but they realized that solo piano work without a tape part would be more substantial after several discussions. However, Tanaka retained the idea of techno in this set of three etudes. Technos refers to the genre of electronic dance music, and we're going to hear a little bit to get this idea of techno.
Uh, according to our program notes, the idea of the whole piece can be summarized with the three key words, techno, rhythm, and speed. Each etude has a distinctive rhythm configuration that repeats throughout the etude uh, at a constant speed, showing a style reminiscent of minimalism. So now we're going to hear techno etude.
month. So we move on to the next composer. Um, her name is Vera Ivanova. She's a Russian composer. She was born in Russia and currently teaches at Chapman University in California. Uh, she studied in Russia, England, and the United States. Ivanova's musical training in many different countries has influenced her own compositional voice, compositional musical style as well, uh, which is eclectic. So she obtains musical ideas and styles from a broad and diverse range of sources. So for example, her solo piano piece, Octavissimo, alludes to Debussy's piano in tube number five, uh, played October. Her music for chamber ensemble, Skyward, is inspired by images of the sky, simple patterns based on number, and the sound of several traditional Chinese instruments. The piece, uh, Three Studies in Uneven Meters, is dedicated to 20th century composers who influenced Ivanova's music in the past and whose compositional techniques are referenced in this work. The first study is entitled Bartok Kagel and a little bit of Stravinsky. Uh, this joins together personalities of three composers, Bela Bartok, Maurizio Kagel, and Igor Stravinsky. According to her program notes, um, all three composers were influenced by Eastern European and Russian folk music and in turn influenced each other's music. Stravinsky influenced Bartok and Bartok influenced Kagel. The first example shows in the influence of Stravinsky with the rhythmic figuration. Um, you can see the similar one like from the irregular meter and harmony. The second work of this set is entitled Canon alla piazzola, descending canon with all voices sustained. The theme of this canon in the time signature of 516 evokes the irregularities of tango's rhythmic pattern. A typical tango has a 3-3-2 three, three, pattern, like 1-2-3, 1 2 as we can see, uh, we can hear that from the famous example, like Piazzolla's Libre Tango. So you have one. sonorities in this piece is locked or fixed 
and does reference some of Scriabin's etude. And we're going to hear um, three studies in uneven meter.
is a two-time Grammy-nominated Mexican woman composer. Uh, born in Mexico City, Ortiz studied in Mexico and later in England after receiving a British Council Fellowship Award. According to her official biography, her musical language achieves an extraordinary and expressive synthesis of tradition and the avant-garde by combining high art, folk music, and jazz in novel, frequently refined and always personal ways. Her music also has a balance between highly organized structure and improvisatory spontaneity. Aside from her musical training, her nationality huge impacts her compositional voice as well. Her parents were musicians in the renowned folk music ensemble Los Popularistas that was founded in 1966 to preserve and record the traditional music of Mexico and Latin America. Ortiz grew up surrounded by Latin American music. She captures Latin American influences such as folklore, popular music, and literature and incorporates them with processes, techniques, styles, and concepts of Western European music. So we'll explore her style through her piece, Estudio Antropolitios. This is a set of four preludes and etudes composed from 2005 to 2012. Ortiz's preludes were influenced by the music of Debussy and Takemisu and creates harmonious environments of ethereal calm. By contrast, the Estudios are tributes to certain figures like Bartok, Ligeti, and Cage. The piece, Preludio y Estudio No. 3, has a subtitle, Homenaje a Jesús Sacuacares. This work displays Ortiz's musical style in capturing Latin American rhythms and literary influence. She incorporates the Latin American elements into Western musical genres, the prelude and the etude. Jesus Apolancares is a fictional character from the novel Hasta No Verte en Su Semio by the author Elena Poniatowska. Palancares is based on the true story of a female soldier that leads a hard life during the Mexican Revolution around 1910 to 1920. She uses her bravery and determination to overcome adversity. The music starts with the prelude that is reminiscent of the voice of Debussy and Takemisu. Then it moves to the etude that drives forward with energetic determination, ending in a victorious compilation. So here is for the view of the studio number three.
the Ukrainian for the piano uh, solo piece. So I recently um, had a connection with Ukrainian living composer. His name is Vladimir Tsidenenko. And he sent me the solo piano piece. And I just wanted to <laughs> share that, that music. So then we can send some hope, love, and you know, the support to people in Ukraine these days. So here it is.